Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome back to Let's Play Imperion 1.6. I'm Seven Foot Dust Bunny, and as you'll notice, we are not in Krell space where you left me, because that Krell station called in not one support ship, not two, but seven. At which point I bottled it and ran away. Um, so we are now actually flown away to the edge hopefully if it's going to show oh no to well to almost the edge of legacy space where we're going to ha head to Labanex and I'm assuming this is legacy space so we need to fly faster so the first thing I'm going to do is jump into this jump into system have a look round and see what we've got that's interesting. And I'm hoping there'll be some legacy POIs here, some other intro. Oh, hello. That's new. That's new. That's very cool. That is very cool indeed. So much so, I'm going to get a screenshot. Anyway, screenshot done. Let's see what we've actually got. In this system. Wow it's an exciting system here. Sorry that's not the thing. <laughs> Whoops. Exciting system nonetheless. Let's have a look what we've got. We've got some gold, we've got some platinum. Oh, anything else? Anything in the descriptions? I mean that's a gas giant with not a lot. That's a trading station a legacy trading station I'm kind of intrigued but I mean let, let's go have a look at the legacy trading station if I can find the right button and decide to actually lock it because I seem to have be all thumbs today so let's just have a quick look before we jump on I mean so far I've not seen anything to indicate that it's legacy space, but you don't tend to find anything around a star anyway. So, still loving the cool jump sequence, very Star Trek. Right, what do we got? Um, okay. So, let's check this out. Because is that, to me, that's legacy color. So, if that's the trading station, it would be kind of interesting for it to be a legacy trading station. There's a few derelict ships around here which look questionable. But we'll fly over towards the legacy trading station. I'll probably bring you back in when we're about five or six clicks out, just in case it starts shooting at me. Um, because, hey, that's probably going to be interesting. Okay, so we're just under five clicks out. And so far, nothing interesting. The thing is highlighted in yellow, but I think that's just because I'm aiming at it on the mini map at the top. Um, I'm quite intrigued as to whether this is going to start shooting at me. Waiting for Scanner to recharge. Infested Legacy Station. So, maybe this will be an interesting POI. Oh, holy crap. I wonder if it's going to call in some some ships. Is the core in the same place of the infector? Because if it is, I know where that is, but this ship is not really built for taking this kind of a pounding. Holy crap. Oh, we're going to need to keep away. Hmm. Yeah, this ship is not designed for taking a massive pounding. Unfortunately. Whoa, back up, back up, back up. Keep moving. He's still hitting me. Reinforcements detected. Oh, God. Here we go. Two legacy infectors. Three legacy infectors. See, this is a similar problem to what I had in Krell Space. Unfortunately, 
with everything I own basically on board this ship, I'm not prepared to lose it and take the risk. I definitely need to arm myself with a battleship where I'm prepared to risk going into battle in that battleship and not carrying everything I own on board. So with that little baby shooting at us like a madman, I mean I can, I've taken out an infector before, but I'm not sure I can take on three and these disappear once you take them out and you really want to go in through the side if you can. They've got a nice little weak, weak point at the side and this ship has no sort of aimed guns either. I mean we can probably draw off this one, one of these infectors. More reinforcements. Yeah, this is what happened with the with the other one, warping in in 60 seconds. If we get another three infectors, I'm going to have to bug out. In which case, I'll probably try and find a legacy planet or something like that. Um, are these guys coming my way? I mean, I can't risk getting hammered too hard by these guys because everything I own is on board this ship. And there we go. He's already coming at me. Mm. He didn't actually hit me there, I don't think. Not too much, I know what. Anyway, I backed off fairly quickly. I'm trying to draw him off a bit. See if we can actually take him down. But taking down three or even more is going to be a bit beyond what I'm able to do at the moment. Especially taking two at once. Yeah, he's absolutely rinsing my shields there. And there come some more. There are three more legacy infectors. So yeah, that is cool to bug out, I'm afraid. I really want to fight some of these guys, but I cannot fight that many and win. So let's have a look around here. I was hoping this system would have a planet in it, but this is an O1A star. What's the difference between O1A and N1A? Let's lock on to that. I'm pretty low on warp fuel as well. Um, not actually in my ship. I have a good amount on board, so I'm going to happily warp out not be stuck by the star because I've got enough warp I've got plenty of warp fuel on board just low in the tank oh hello big green horrible N1A star all right let's quickly um, top up the fuel tank a second there we go yoink, 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 yoink. there we go topped back up what is this system like give me something interesting an alien planet. No real danger. Contaminated zone. Enter at own risk. Excellent. Loving the sound of that. What the hell is that? Is that like a secondary star? It is. It's a secondary star. Can you... I don't know. It almost looks like there's something in orbit of the secondary star. Can, can you... Can I warp to this secondary star? I can't seem to lock it as a target. So I'm going to say probably not. Kind of sucks. No, it doesn't come up as a locked target. That's a shame. I was thinking that would be nice. Um, what we got here? Science satellite. Not worth going for at the moment. All right. I think the only planet in the, in the system worth looking at is Adulla. Please tell me this isn't the legacy homeworld because this will be more than I can handle as well. So let's uh, go check out Adela. 
I mean, if that's the case, I might have to set up at a star just outside Legacy Space and uh, see what we can do. Here comes. Oh, this looks like it might be the Legacy Homeworld. This place looks rough and destroyed. This looks very Legacy Homeworld. And we have the menacing music. So again, this looks like there's quite a few Legacy ships hop hopping around here. See, I might be able to take on one ship. I'm tempted, because this looks very much like the Legacy Homeworld. And that worries me. Because ultimately I'm not going to be able to take everything on the Legacy Homeworld for sure. Be interesting to try and do a couple of POIs if we can manage to. But what is this thing? It's out here on its own. Come on, ship, catch up. I wonder if we can get close enough to uh, take it down. Or at least identify it, for starters. It's moving fairly quickly. It's a legacy infector. See, I might be able to take one infector if I can get its attention. The problem is, without aimed guns, it's a bit tricky. And I cannot see it very well. We're heading into range here. Because the core is right there through the middle. Come on guns, start firing. Start firing. Because in a minute we might have to back off. Shields are down to 26%, 10%, 7%. At least we can take some of the guns out before we have to back off. Come on, take some of those guns down. Well, at least I can get close. Whoa. What's my range? Yeah, I'm out of range. I'm trying to keep at range because my shields are, as you can see, taking some hits and I'm going to be taking some damage right now. Straight away. Whoa. I have to pull back and try and let the shield recharge. This is the problem with this. You can't. This is where things like reforged Eden and reforged um, Galaxy are a lot better when you can get the slightly better shields and like slightly better shield systems. I don't think Aliens implemented anything like that at the moment. Um, how much damage did I take? any? Um, are we still airtight? Infector is over there. At 19% shields, its shields are up before mine are. This is where you kind of got to look at all your firepower and make sure you, all your turrets are firing on full steam, which they are. There's just not enough of them. And he's bugging out now. This is one of the problems with this kind of thing. It's a bit cat and mouse. We'll try and keep with him here. But yeah, I wish my, chi my shields recharged a little faster. I mean, you would think with the benefit of being like below core, you know, core level, your shields would recharge a little faster, but straight away he's going to lay a couple of shots into me. 
There he is. He's going to start stripping down my shields before I get close again. Hmm. If you, you can get in close enough, you can actually do it with an SV if you can get in really close. But you have to get past all your shooting and then just sort of stick alongside so you can't so he can't get you and then you can kind of blow the blow out the bit you need um, but for the minute I'm gonna have to back up he's stripping my shields but I'm not getting anywhere close to his yeah how annoying anyway I'll see if I can bring this down a bit more and then I'll bring you guys back in for a bit more battle holy crap I didn't realize it, but I'm being chased down by a bunch of laser drones. Absolute bunch of bunch of laser of uh, legacy drones here. Which are also keeping my shields down. I mean, I'm sure I can take them. But it you know, to me it seems like I need some upgrades I need a ship more designed for combat I mean th this ship isn't designed for combat this ship is designed for scouting around the universe and as more of a mobile base situation so let's have another quick look at the planet a second I'm pretty sure this is legacy homeworld we'll have a quick um, scoot down on the planet It's the first time I've been to Legacy Space for quite a while. I'm going to leave that infector behind. And then we'll decide what we're going to do. I do have um, a base in mind for setting up like an outpost here. I've been looking around on the Steam Workshop. I need to actually find it here. Um, 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 this is where I end up looking through it. I don't actually remember what it was called. No, no, I'm gonna end up in atmosphere in a minute. I'll have a look. I'll see if I can find it. I'll have a look on one of my various travel travel times. But yeah, this looks yeah, this looks very much like Legacy Land. I gotta be a little bit careful here because we don't want to wind up in too much trouble. Ooh! Sounds nice. Sounds inviting. So that terrain is the... is like the funky terrain they've given in legacy areas. Um, but quite often it's accompanied by a huge number of legacy POIs. But here it does not seem to be. But it's kind of like this nifty, weird, weird, almost digital terrain. It's kind of cool. There's a ruined temple. Oh, I've hit the ground. There's a ruined temple. There's a charged helix. Now, a charged helix, I believe, yes, has a gun on it. Now, my, like, actual ship guns don't really fire very well in atmosphere however this is why Ugh. there we go sit down turrets you can deal with the bits on the ground this is why he says you hopefully have an sv on board and we can try and find out how much damage we, we took at the same time just have a quick survey of any damage here. Let's turn the light on so you can actually see. I don't see any any major damage here. We still have pressurization, so that's good. Right. Right, little SV. It's your time to shine. It is your time to shine. Let's check out. Oh my god, the clipper's got loads in it. Um dump box please 
Yeah, we're just gonna. Dun, 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 dun. I still haven't sorted out my dump box. Story of my life. So we're just gonna get rid of most of this. Da, 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 da. Um, ammo container. We're okay on ammo. We've got fuel. We've got stuff in the fridge. We've got enough fuel. We've got enough oxygen. Pentaxi, we could probably do with a little more. So let's grab a bit more pentaxid. Make sure the shields are up. And get ready to take this thing on. I only use the homing rocket turrets. Come on, door, open. Come on, shields, charge up. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Now, green laser shit. Come on, green laser shit. Bring it on. He's actually not shooting me. Uh, he's taking a bit to take down. I'm not actually hitting him. I don't think. Let's let the shield charge up a little bit more and have another pop at that. I seem to be taking out a lot of the blocks below it, but not actually hitting the actual laser itself. Where's the laser? Or did I get it already? Oh no, that, that's very much gone. Okay, so can I get in enough? It's the only problem with this with this ship, which might be an issue. And I do not want to wind up stuck on the ground. So let's see how this goes. Don't fall off, Sev. Don't fall off. Can you reach the, the thing? No. Damn it. This is where my little scout was really good. Because it could actually um, get in here enough to get in close. I mean, what you can do is build like a couple of little blocks off the front or something to do this. I'm just going to try and see if I can reach it. Come on, come on, get close enough. Damn you. I'm so worried about falling off the edge here. If I fall off the edge, I have to actually get down. Wow, it, it, it is warm out there. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. Run, Forrest, run. Okay, that's not good. Overseers, all sort. Holy crap. Ow. Okay. There are a lot of unfriendlies on this ground level. Uh, okay. Back up, back up. Run away. Run away. Yes, yes. Yes. Holy crap! Oh no, don't do that! Don't lag on me! Ah! Oh, fortunately I managed to get him down. I'm still alive. And unfortunately the gun is helping out with some of the overseers. <laughs> Which there are a lot. There are just overseers everywhere here. Tasty, tasty overseer meat. Some form of arachnid. I mean, on the bright side, I should be able to um, turn the ship off. It says and um, bring it back down to save myself. I should really heal, shouldn't I? That was exactly what I was worried about happening. No, was uh, I didn't think God, so many overseers. I mean, in theory, you can walk around the helix and get back up there. If you can uh, jump puzzle your way up. Um, okay. Yeah, jump puzzle. Uh, no, no, no. Come on. Ah, uh, Not got my jetpacking skills with me today. 
go. And. Aha! Aha, arachnid. Whoa! I did not see that guy. Fortunately, he didn't hit me. I saw that guy, though. Yeah, I know I can't damage my. Uh, it with this weapon. Oh my god, there are so many. Ah! How did you get up here? Do you have a jetpack? Right. My thought is to see whether I can jetpack jump over to here to get back on. Oh god! Oh no, I'm dead. <laughs> Ow. Yes. Okay. So I respawned at the um, at the Leviathan. I'm going to try and leg it back over there and see if I can... Oh, I don't know. This might not be wise to leg it back over there and try and do it on foot. I'm feeling like I should bring a tank. <laughs> I have a tank, why don't I bring a tank? You know, that way I can just set, I can set the uh, miniguns on NPCs and stuff to sort of help me out. I want to get my ship back and what I really want to do is see what's in the loot containers on this planet. So let's turn her on. Ooh, I should really be in first person for getting out of here. Right, let's just have a quick tweak with the turrets. I have nothing, I need to get my backpack back for one. Oxygen, shields, yes. Devices, turrets, 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 turrets. Um, right, yeah. Um, generators, uh, fine. I'll have to do. Alright. Come on, tank. You didn't have the greatest showing last time la last time you you went out, so let's get back out here. See if you can help me get my backpack back. Holy crap. Supporting fire, supporting fire, please. Thank you. All right. Oh, they just keep spawning. Look at them. <laughs> I'm going to be blowing my way through there, through the, side of the, the thing here. Okay. I think it might be dead. I think my um, tank's just blown all, all all the way through to the core in a generator. And uh, that's it. I think the POI may actually be dead now. Which is good because I want to get my backpack back. So quickly just yoink. I wish you could loot with the drone. Like those alien loot containers. That would be seriously useful. Right. <laughs> Look at all the bad guys. <laughs> Look at them all. There's just hundreds of them. Loads of overseers. Loads of everything. Uh, tank spotted something over there. That's giving me a hard, that's trying to give me a hard time. Uh, the container extension here. I'm not sure what the container extension is for. Don't remember there ever being like a container extension. So Normally, you can actually, if you dare, like, try and, like, half jetpack your way up there. Oh, God, I turned the lights off. I was meaning to... See. I thought they weren't on, but they are. <laughs> Even though they don't look it. You can sort of do this and... Oh, God. No, 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 no. And then you can fall off the edge and break your leg. It's a really good system. So yeah, I did pick my backpack up. So let's um try that again. If you get it right, you can actually 
jump out on one of these to get to the container. However, I'd just like to get back in my ship if possible. Which is unfortunate because I went up the wrong leg by the looks of it. Um, so yeah, you can. I wonder. Can I destroy that block? Then I could jump on top. Did I core it? Yes, I, I, I've cored it. So, if I get this right, I can probably jump up here on top. Oh god. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Ah, ah, ah. No, don't press that on the way down because this is how you break your leg, Sev. And we're back at the bottom. Oh. Jumping, jump puzzles are not my friend. Okay, gonna give it another go. Then I'm br then I'm just bringing it down to me, because I can just hack into the um, the what do you call it? The blah 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 blah. The controls on it and turn it off, and then it will just drop out of the sky. Again, I managed to pick exactly the same one. Why does that always happen to me? Right. Here we go. Jump puzzle moment. And... No, uh, uh, oh, no, 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 I can make it. No, 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 no. Okay. I don't know. I'm probably on the on the same spit again. This is what I do. Like I say, my jump puzzle skills not the best. However, what it does mean is if I can get back onto my ship, which is now all the way over there, so I'm not on the same one this time. Right, one last go. Come on, we can make it. And. Uh, Oh, too far. But on my ship. Yes. Yes, on my ship. Ha ha ha. Now. Now I'm on my ship. I can do this. Uh, there you go. Bye. Oh, just go away. Now, I might be able to move the ship in a little bit closer. No, come on. There we go. Can I move the ship in a bit closer to get to it? Come on, all I want is the loot container. Not close enough, I fear. Maybe. Yes, maybe. Heavy armor. Yeah, that was rather disappointing. Yeah, it's rather warm there, I know. Okay. So. That was that done. What else have we got? Anything else interesting around here? What's over there? Three kilometres away. Um, and what have we got? Something else one kilometre away. Let's check that out. If it's got shields, I'm not going to be able to take it with this. But I'm happy to see if we, I can do a bit of looting while I'm here. It is yet another um, charged helix. Okay, so let's get ready to blow this up. Let's try going in the cockpit view this time so I can get a bit... I think I can just tank it out and take it that way. Was that it gone? I think it was. Now, all the bad guys are still down there. So I don't really want to die again. And that's that's the, that's a problem. This is where I should build like a spit of several blocks on the on the front of this ship. And then you might be able to do it. Because I don't think I'm gonna be able to reach again, no. And I don't want to go through that falling down game. But what you can do, this is a bit cheesy, 
but I'm going to do it anyway, um, is if you go, I think it's to the controller, um, we need to get to the, to the mobile constructor. Let's see what we can make from the constructor. Um, if we put in some of the materials we have, we now have in our inventory, we might be able to make a couple of steel blocks. So if we go to the constructor, let's see, we can make, yeah, a few steel blocks, like that. So what we can do is, this is where we have to find somewhere safe to land because we need to turn the shields off. Um, you're going to turn the shields off. Everything else you're keeping on. Keeping the guns on, keeping everything else on. What you can do is you can build a few blocks off the end here. Uh, there's a light there. So that's not going to work. Like this. It's a bit of a cheeky way, of, uh, a bit of a cheeky, cheesy way of doing it. But I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it for these because look, I've done one. Let's turn the shields back on. Shields? Shields? Yes, please. If you don't mind. Come on, shields. Back on. Now, you should be able to go doink like this. And then, this is something someone suggested to me when I was commenting about their builds that I couldn't nose into these like I, like I do on my own on um, some of the other ships. So now, this is very like Minecraft don't fall off the edge kind of thing. Aha! See? Work Street, oh my lord. I'm not going to be able to fly hardly with all that in. This is where the thing's just going to drop out of the sky with with me in, on it, isn't it? Right. It's going to be a little bit heavy now. I'm going to be a little bit sluggish. Ooh. Yeah, and that's how you kind of cheese a like uh, <laughs> one of those POIs. Right, so that charged helix was done. Did anyone see where I left my uh, CV? Anyone? I mean, I was, I was hoping to find something a bit more exciting than the charged helix. Um, where's my CV? My CV's over there. It's the charged helix. That's the brute which we'll need to go and pick up. And hmm, that's got an admin POI. Let's check out what that is. Um. Okay, so there's my base. Sorry, my base, my CV. So let's, um, what we'll do is another sort of cheeky setup here. I'm gonna do. First thing I'm gonna do is. Oh, we need to go down a bit. I'm obviously a bit high. Is. I'm gonna exchange everything everything I've got back into that into the Leviathan's dump box. Second, to ease up my rather serious weight situation. There you go. And that should be me a lot more mobile. And now we're gonna do the reverse. Holy crap. Of what I did before, I might be able to land this one on top of the brute, is the thought. If I can land this on top of the brute and get it to pretend to dock, like so, and turn it off, I'm sure it'll be fine. Like I say, it doesn't look like it should work, but it'll work. And I'll need to get them back through the door separately. 
but I can poodle along with the ship on the top. I mean, obviously, you can actually design SVs with this kind of thing in mind, which um, can be quite nifty, and like that, it plays havoc with your centre of gravity. I do like the fact that you can knock trees down now. But other than that, you can do things like that. Now you just need to get out. Jetpack up there a second. And again. And away we go. And we'll just pop that one back. Well we'll pop that one here a second because we're gonna we're gonna use it yet. Because I wanna check out I wanna check out that admin POI. But I think now we're back to the ship and time's got on. I think that will have to be next time because I'm going to have to say thank you very much for watching, like and subscribe as always, I'm going to practice my jumping and I'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.